EKG and cardiac troponin form the diagnostic cornerstones of clinical assessment of chest pain patients, but particularly challenging is the distinction between acute coronary syndromes from hypertensive urgency and emergency, myocarditis, pericarditis, Takotsuba's cardiomyopathy, acute heart failure, and on and on. The EKG alone is often insufficient to diagnose acute MI since significant ECG changes are absent in numerous acute coronary syndrome patients, and also because ST segment deviation may be observed in multiple other cardiac and non-cardiac conditions. Now in circulation, researchers try to tease out what can help clinicians in differentiating acute coronary syndromes from other problems. In a prospective international multicenter study, troponin was measured at presentation and serially thereafter to close to 1,000 patients with acute chest pain, and the accuracy of the combination of presentation values of troponin and serial changes was compared against a final diagnosis. Patients with acute MI had higher median presentation values of troponin and higher absolute changes of troponin in the first hour. ST segment elevation presentation values and changes of troponin in the first hour accurately separated patients with MI and non-coronary sources of chest pain. The take-home message is very clear. The combined use of the level of troponin to presentation and its early absolute change excellently discriminates between patients with and without acute coronary syndromes. I'm Peter Block, and this is a CardiSource Heart Minute.